I am so excited for what's about to come next. I've been looking forward to this for so long. It's the only thing on our list, flying class. Today's flying class, Madam Kagawa is reviewing basic broom flight and maneuverability. Okay, I'm imagining we're gonna go outside, just outside into the field. Sounds good to me. Let's walk there. Let's go check it out. Oh my goodness, dude. It's been a, a bit tough. I'm not gonna lie. We've been hoofing it everywhere. We've got the flu network, which has been good. But just straight, you know, going out into the wilderness when we've gone through the forbidden forest and, you know, kind of when we were looking at bandit camps and things like that, like going on foot is, is not fun. So if we could do a little zoom in, I would certainly not hesitate to be excited about that. This is our broom class. How you doing, Professor? You look very intense. That's an awfully tight, uh... Everybody grab a broom, and we shall get started. It's an awfully tight bun you got there. The tight of the bun, the tight of the professor. Mr. Clopton, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. We look so stupid. The goal of today I is to take remind all off. of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up, firmly and clearly. Then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. <laughs> up, up. Natural. Now where's Malfoy in the remember One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. We are so... And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. We are so custom character vibes right now. Everyone else is just like... Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. This will take some getting I used to. I want them returned in one piece. Ah, ah, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Everyone else looks so good and we just look like a total idiot. Everyone else is in their school robes. Well We're like now that you're googly eyes. To your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This is cool, though. Okay. So right stick is up this and down. R2 to go faster. We'll take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view. <laughs> Hello. Nice day for a flight. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Your boy's going to be a seeker in no time, baby. I just want to get my own broom. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. This is pretty epic, though. Wonder what we have to do to get around. I know there's like, there's a, a well, shop in Hogsmeade. An aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Huh. A giant squid. But we're gonna have to slowly upgrade it over time and do quests to be able to upgrade it and things, it's going to be great. Made it. Oh, did anyone else see that? Really look forward to getting off the school broom too, because this thing is slow AF. It would be pretty, pretty cool though. Real life. Nice. 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Precisely. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. All right, little Ravenclaw getting us in trouble. To begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. This is so cool, dude. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. All right, L2 for a burst <gasps> of speed. Now that's more like it. You sure you're not part Hippogriff? This is just so miraculous, dude. Can you Let imagine this moment? Bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the Owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. I'm trying my best on this old dusty thing. Smooth AF. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I'm disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. I just wanted to have some fun on a As broom, ma'am. You, you do well to use better judgment in the future. I think I learned more from him than I did from you. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. I'll take it. Respect. The, the professors are so good in this. I, I haven't had a single professor Sorry I didn't like. about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that oh, detour. Right. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. So can we go do that now, is my question. All right, 260 XP there, that's pretty good. I'm kind of hoping we're gonna be able to be able to go do that. Do we have any quests lined up currently? No quests. It looks like we've got more keeper trials, more, more things that we need to do. Not sure what the keeper trials are, but we're here. Keeper like, Quidditch Keeper? No. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. I mean, that sounds Quidditch. like it could... I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I like earning coins as well. We just please oop. meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. That's our room of requirement, I think. 
That would be pretty exciting to get. Okay, we've we've got a lot of things on the docket here, but the question is, did we get demanding delivery? Feel like I have seen way too much of you. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Lately, Mr. Pippin. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery. Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? Fair enough. If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I mean... I'd rather like not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Okay. So it sounds like, uh... Might be able to make something for ourselves, too. Let me see where we're going. Holy cow. Um, I mean, this is about as close as we're going to get. Starting to explore a little bit more. Having a broom would be helpful, that's for certain. But, um, it's like a place right out of a storybook. I guess we just got to hoof it for now. Got me running through this dang forest, man. This is slightly outrageous, but we're going to be fine. It's just a really, really long way. Wonder who lives here. Always late that way. Looks like we made it. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this fast travel point so we don't ever have to run that far again. Oh, My goodness. Adventure, are we? I am out of breath. And then meet me in my classroom to learn the, the, Fendo, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. I'm excited for that. That's gonna be good. And it's a direct uh, counter to Madame Luang, some of the poachers. I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? No, but Doesn't I could have. Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. I've, I feel like Here you're kind of being unfair to him. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Sure. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. So you want me to drink one of the three? That doesn't seem... Focus potion and visibility potion. All right. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well... I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? <laughs> Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er do well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers She works with Ashwinders? Friends. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Interesting. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? I want to see what else she has. What kind of recipes are what we working are we with here? For today? Oh, just eggs. 150, lacewing flies, leaping toadstools, leap juice. She's got nothing good. I'll pass. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. No Rebellion. wonder you're out here and he's in there. I'm trying to see if there's anything of interest around here. Looks like we've got a little chest. That we could take a look at. Another chest down here. Just gonna grab whatever we can and... I think we should... Very generous. Thank you. Why 
could handle another enchantment now. I was kind of hoping we were going to be able to get something from that. Just gave him some free money. That's fine. All right. We're going to get out of here. Let's, uh, let's, hold on. What's the... There's Not some sure sort... how I'd fare in a little place like this. Revelio. I was going to say, what's what's this? But it's the Tilted House. Locals call this the Tilted House to the Yacht Anglo, which it sits wrapped in the roots of an overhanging tree. Can we go inside? I feel like... Most of these have been very, uh, very much locked. This has the weird whispers in it. I don't like it. All right. Back to Perry. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Not so much. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Delivering those potions was a bit more work than I'd expected. I'd like an additional fee. I suppose that's business for you. Very well, I shall increase your pay, but I'm not at all pleased about it. Best I mean, if you don't ask, you're never going to get it. Do take care. I wonder if we're not going to get any future things there. But hey, you got to know your worth. I had to take his potion. On trust. I don't know how good his stuff is. We got 500 coins out of that. I don't mind if I do. That means we're probably, I mean, hopefully going to be able to make some more moves with him in the future. I think that was one out of 10. So let me see what we've got going on for quests here. Ooh, Professor Sharp's assignment. We've got to acquire and use a Thunder Brew potion against enemies. Flight test. Purchase a broom at Spent Witches. Okay, that's going to be like right right down here. I'm very excited about this. I don't know how much it's going to cost. Hopefully, what do we have? Like 2,500 coins now? Ah, oh, new face. Wonderful. Albie Weeks. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. <laughs> and I've only just returned, thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? 1,000%. Got a few percent. rare U-weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Okay. You said disrupted trade routes the COVID happened close, here? Spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes report is oh, unusable. Criminals. Evidently, criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. I'm in. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. I can't believe we're about to get a. We uh, please tell me today? I can afford it. Six hundred dollars for an ember. Dash. That item is of the highest quality. We've got the Hogwarts House Broom. We've got the Moon Trimmer. The Wind that Wisp. Is of the highest quality. Or the U Weaver. Ah. I. That item is of the highest quality. I feel like it's between this and this. I kind of like the U Weaver. You'll unique. be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Only 600 galleons. I'll take it. Thanks for stopping by. I Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As I'm it your happens, man. another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. 
an ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I am in. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what and I can And we do. get to beat a Melda. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special prize. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Perfect. All right. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Revenue. Anything else in here I need to see? Oh, hello. I mean, this is... <sighs> I can't Ridicule. help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Spent Witch's Sporting Needs, run by the amiable Albie Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albie himself is working on enhancements. It's no Nimbus 2000 or 2001 or Firebolt, but it's going to have to do. Now, I, I think there's a way to hop on your broom, and I f forget how. It's you press like a combo. Oh, L1 and then circle. Ooh, yes, let's go. Okay. If we stay close to the ground, we should be able to fly at higher speeds. All right. I love it. Off to the Quidditch pitch we go. Got to stay super low, and we should be able to regain that that speed burst faster. Yeah, if we're all the way low, we can keep it full speed all the time. If we get a little altitude, we can't. See, it's gaining again there. Okay. Makes sense. I kind of... I think I want to reverse them, though, like an airplane. Off to the Quidditch pitch here. This is amazing, dude. Can we fly through this? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh. All right. If it isn't Slytherin's newest broom talent... How are you doing, Imelda? Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> to break your records. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I can't stand and hold her. one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Okay. Little time trial action, you boys a racer. Probably want to try to stay low-ish. Success. Beautiful. I don't know. Oh. Definitely want to hit the bubbles. Okay. It is a little bit sketchier than it looks, but we're going to get, get it together. There is kind of like a little bit of momentum in there. make sure we're hitting all the bubbles. I was trying to stay low to the ground to keep our thing up, but I think bubbles are the play. It's a little bit weird when you get off track because the camera's like a little <laughs> bit back to the right. It's somewhat hard to tell exactly where you're aiming. We're looking for a 220 though. Should be nice and easy. Your boy is staying pedal to the metal the entire way, not letting off. Fifteen out of twenty-two rings. Went by uh, 
the train station back there. Not really paying attention too much to what we're seeing. I, the balloons, are we supposed to fly into those? I see the balloons all over the map. Two more rings to go. <laughs> now that's more like it. We absolutely destroyed her. Oh my god. <laughs> this is rather fun. Easy enough. Now we're going to be able to take that back to him. He's going to be able to upgrade our room. But first, let's just gloat a little bit. We earned it. Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated you. Uh, fine. You won. At least you could say that. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible. But you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. All right. Challenge accepted, then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. You ready for but round don't two? Don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. Ah. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. Return to the podium to challenge other racers and advance your way through the ranks of the leaderboard. I'm just going to go straight back to Albie. Now, she said it's over at Irondale. I wonder... Go to our Hogsmeade map. I wonder if we can just fly there. Because, like, now... I mean, we... The world's open to us. You could go anywhere you want. We can fly there. We can just stay up above all the chaos. Glad to hear how I fed. Obviously, some areas are, are higher levels than we are, and we're going to have trouble with uh the enemies but if we're flying above their heads we oh, should be back. fine we've something to report i hope mr weeks i was able to set a record on my broom incredible miss ray's must have been shocked tell me how was the broom a little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed but it fared well enough i will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns heard a slight swoosh when i dipped look at us oh, straight expert f1 mm. driver that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. So we're going to have to wait, unfortunately. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Man, I really wish we could play Quidditch. Look at these. The Quaffles, the Bludgers. He's got a snitch on the wall over here. Ugh. Such a cool shot, man. The trophies and stuff. Just amazing. Look at us being resourceful. Now, so we got the... Um, I can help you with. Over at Pippin's, we spent twelve hundred dollars or twelve hundred coins, twelve hundred galleons to be able to get the uh, Thunder Brew recipe. Now we could have spent a thousand galleons just on a potion itself, or we could get the recipe for twelve hundred. Then we bought a a stench of the dead for a hundred, and we just got a shrivel fig fruit for a hundred. And now we're going to be able to brew this Thunder Brew. So now we're going to go back to Hogwarts, dude. I love like the potions and everything. This part is is so cool. I think this is potions class right here. So we're gonna go brew this thunder brew. It's gonna take a minute, 30 seconds, and then we're gonna use that against enemies. And if we do that, that's going to um, complete our extracurricular assignment to be able to learn the new Defendo spell to be able to cut people up. So thunder brew here, let's do it. Minute, 30 seconds, gonna wait on this. Brew it up, bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. After we have that, we can go find some enemies, use it against them. Should be a good time. Nice got our potion. We're going to fast travel outside of the castle here. The good news is we've got a broom now. And we are just going to go look for any sort of an enemy. Ooh, see? Right here. Perfect. All right. What do we have? What's here on this island? Cotton grass dug bog, level 15. So we can handle the light work here. So this potion... Creates a storm around the drinker, which will stun and damage nearby enemies. All right. What's up, bro? Let me use our potion real quick. Let's go ahead and send that down. And now we have 
a storm that's attacking this thing. I would imagine a storm is pretty good against a frog. Out of the way. Accio. Watch out for him. And he's done. Look at that. Dude, I'm so excited to actually start using some of these potions and things. Makes our life a lot easier. You remember when we fought like six of those? They were really tough. How you doing, Professor? Have you finished your assignments? I ah. finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. <laughs> yes, sir, of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. He knows. Talent and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame. To let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. All right. Focus. Defindo. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. These challenges are getting a little bit more difficult, but honestly, not that much. So this is like a little, little lightning bolt type thing. Defindo, mm. new spell unlocked. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake and that of everyone else. Revelio. I'm gonna grab this uh, thing right here. Professor Sharp's Auror Badge. Aurors are comprised of the Ministry's magical law enforcement. Protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. The Auror Badge belongs to Professor Sharp. That's pretty cool. So we do have, uh, we haven't really used it yet, but we have that new set of spells. If we press right on the D-pad, it's a brand new set. So now we can set this new spell on here. Defendo slashes objects and enemies from afar. You know what we should do? We should have, I'm gonna put Defendo on X on this one. That's gonna go to X. I really like, I like Incendio, but honestly, it's a little bit too close quarters for me. So we're gonna keep Expelliarmus. We're gonna keep Accio and the Pulso on this as well. Should actually probably do Levioso just so we have a, a little, you know, variation in there. But then what we're gonna do is on this one, I'm gonna put Lumos on our top one. We're gonna put um, Disillusionment there. We could put Reparo here. So now like when we're in battle, this is our battle set. And then when we're sneaking around and getting into things, this is our sneak around set kind of a cool way to do things. All right. While we're at it, I think we try to learn another new spell. Sebastian had hit us up to learn Confringo, I think? Over here. I like this. We're starting to get a nice little repertoire. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention. But I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Good did man. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. The Undercroft? This way. In the shadow of the Undercroft. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Well, this is cool. Little vanishing cabinet action. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt, he named it the Undercroft. We used to play gobstones here all the time, with my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore Rebellion. to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confides in anyone, but he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. I mean, this is a pretty cool little hangout spot. I like it. 
I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse I've it. I wondered what was up his with his eyes. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it, and I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets, but this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. I mean... A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. Agreed. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Confringo. Okay. So this is very similar to Defendo in terms of wand movement. It's like a, you know, instead of a lightning bolt, you've got a Z here. Confringo. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Let's do it. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Okay. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So I'm going to put this on Expelliarmus for right now. Is this Confringo? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. That's pretty epic. It's like a, a longer range. I have to say, I enjoy Fire Blast. That. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. Hmm. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Which other ones? I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. I'll be there for you. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. I don't think it's right to tell him yet. The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. I feel bad because I like him and I think we... I, he has proven that we Feldcroft, can trust him. I'll send you an owl. 
He's a hundred percent proven that we can trust him. It's that's just that's a lot. If we can't even tell Miss Weasley, I don't know if we should be telling other kids about our. I don't know. I like him though. I do like him. He's teaching us spells. He's obviously. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, uh, hello, Ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, stumbled upon it. That room just happened. Called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you. I'm didn't not selling him out. He didn't you sell me out. A word about this place to anyone. Not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. I'm not going to tell anyone. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your Undercroft. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Hmm. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Well, I'm just going to be on my way then. You, you two can work that out together. I don't want any part of this.